Good morning. Hey, thank you for joining. You see the title? Uh, we're going to try to pull it off. All right, let's talk about the temperature. And we'll talk some more about it. All right, so here what we're going to do is we're going to leave this off. Uh, this is probably going to be our prepping. This one, I really, since uh, we're doing eggs, I want to keep it medium, medium, low. All right, let's see if there's a way you guys can see the flames. There you go. Look at that. It's been a while since you guys seen the flame. That's medium low. That's what we're going to work with, okay? All right. Okay. Daddy Dutch, barbecue and cooking. Good morning. How you doing? Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. You see the title? We're going to try to go for it. It's never been done on a Blackstone griddle and we'll be the first. It's always cool to be the first, yeah? All right. So I've never done this before, so bear with me. I'll be going trial and error too, but the only thing about going live is you only get one shot. There's no retake, no editing, nothing like that, so. We're gonna use this. Okay, nonstick spray. All right, we'll let that heat up for a little bit. Let's just bear with me. I'm working on the gimbal. So the way I realized about this gimbal is um, it follows you like you move first and then it follows you so if you move too fast it seems like it's not working all right let's figure out how to do this okay so never made it before I kind of understand the concept so let's figure it out all right first thing we need is eggs right I'm gonna use the white background so we could tell um, what color this turns into. All right, the first thing we have to do is we have to separate the the white and the yolk. All right, so let's try to do it. I've never really done it, so I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out. All right, so I know you got to be gentle, and then I know you have to split it and try to catch the yolk. Right, and let the rest fall into the bowl. And I guess some people, they move it around like this. Kinda make them feel like a pro. What? It worked. Oh, yeah. All right, let's act professional like we've done this before. So we're gonna leave the egg right there. How's that? All right, here's our, here's our key ingredients, all right? And all right, so what you do is you get a, like a gel or a food coloring. This one's a gel. So what we're gonna do is let's cover this so we don't accidentally go there. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna turn that to green. So let's figure it out. I don't wanna put too much. I'll go a little by little. All right. Then you don't, you don't wanna scramble it too much where it might start foaming. You just wanna be able to break the gel. So, I'm getting to the gel. See how it's slowly breaking down? I don't know if you can see it. Ooh, it's starting to turn green. All right, this chopstick's not working. Let's try a fork. See, I didn't want it to foam up, so I'm going back to the chopstick. I really didn't want it to foam up, but if it already did, it's all right. It's still edible. All right. There's one green. I just want to add a little bit more to give it a darker green. I'm hoping it works. If not, oh.
the gel is a harder to break. But look how green it's going. So it's doing its job. Look how green it is. What? I'll give it a darker green on the next one. All right. You got two more to go. So apparently you got to break it like really careful. Then you got to catch that yolk. I can't believe I'm pulling that off so far. It looks so hard when you see other people doing it and you're like, how did they do that? At least I know it's not as hard as I thought it was. Alright, we're saving that yolk. Ah! It broke! That yolk broke. All right, that's alright. That's alright. No need to panic. We have other eggs. Let me see if I just do it like this. Just with one. And just use it to constantly smash the, the gel. Because I don't really want the eggs to foam up. Uh, let's pull it off. Come on, let's do this. Let me see how it looks on the camera. See if I have to do a close up. I should probably do a close up. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Good thing is, uh, I read the direction. I guess these things are pretty safe. It's edible. It's not like back in the 80s when. All right. Okay, you got a green one? Green. I can't believe I broke that last one, but that's all right. All right, one more, one more. Ah, God damn, another yoke broke. It's all right. I'll, I'll fix it. Got a little bit of yolk in here. See it? So I think if you use food coloring, it might be better. It might dilute better. This gel, I constantly have to try to break it. All right, we got our green. All right, it's green. Okay. All right, so we need two more yolk because I broke the other two. So, hate to sacrifice two more eggs. 
Somehow in my head, I thought he was going to go quicker. But it's not, so I don't know what's going on. So, I need two more yolk. That's what I'm trying to get at. Alright, I need that yolk. I need that yolk. Ah! Motherfucker. Hold on. Let's figure it out. Oh, come on. Work with me here. That's the bad thing about going live, man. There's no editing. There is zero editing when it comes to this. Motherfucker. I'm sacrificing all these eggs. I'll buy some more. So frustrating. I need one more and I can't I can't get the yolk right. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do this. Alright. Eggs. Separate it and save the yolk. We gotta save the yolk. That's our goal. Save the yolk. Alright? I don't care how, we're gonna save it. sounds so easy all right yolk is saved oh, fuck. look at it it's breaking the yolk is breaking on me all right god i'm gonna keep on trying until we get it right that's the only bad thing about live man there's no editing on this thing this is what happens behind the scene, apparently. All right. The yolk is right there, and we just need to save it. All right. I'm not going to go back and forth. I just need to save it. Oh! All right. One more. We got, we got two now. We got two yolks. We got two yolks saved. Now we need one more. Let's figure it out. One more. We got three kids. We got to make three sandwiches. All right. Here we go. Woo. You see it? All right. All right. I'm just going to save it just the way it is. Huh. Three yolks. Ah, can we get a hand? Oh, God, never knew that was going to be so hard. Thanks for sticking around. I lost a few watchers, viewers. That's all right. We know who the dedicated uh, viewers are. I'm cool with that. All right. Let's do this. We are gonna cook the eggs right now. For everyone that's uh, still here, what's up Meathead, thanks for joining. Yeah, you missed it man, I was messing up on the eggs, I couldn't save the yolk for the life of me. Yeah, you are dedicated. Hey, I'm dedicated to your channel too, because I love the way you transition. I love the, the music that you play and the transition uh, that you use. All right, here we go. Green eggs and ham. Our first green. Let's hope it works. All right, one egg. Two eggs. Yes. All right. And this is why I was stressing about the yolk. 
all right? This is why I was stressing out the yolk. So what you want to do is that's going to cook green. And then you want to give it that yolk look and you have to set it on top of it. You see it? Now you understand why I was stressing? Look at that. Oh, thank you, Lord. And then this one, I have to use a spoon. Woo! It's working! Ah! Look at that! Look at that! Ah! Oh. Alright. Next step. Let's steam it. Alright? We're going to steam it. We don't want to flip it over. Fuck. Okay. We don't want to flip it over. So we're going to steam it. Here we go. Oh. All right, we're going to cook that. Yeah, you know, you know the weird thing about me whenever I cook live, there's no second chance. There's no cut. No redo. It's like as I mess up. All right. So let's warm up some buns, yeah? We're not going to do anything special to this. We are just going to warm it up. All right. Nothing special. And we're just going to warm it up. <sighs> oh, numbers back up. Everyone wants to come back, yeah, after I messed up on three eggs. What's up from MC? Oh, North Carolina. HD Flame. Thank you for joining. Me head. You're my idol. You know it. Daddy Cooks. Ray Mack. Thank you for joining. Leprechaun TV. What's up, man? Leprechaun TV. Green eggs and ham. That, this is your turf. You guys want to see how it looks like right now? I know it's bad. You do good, Marion. Oh, thank you. All right. I know this is bad juju to open it too early, but I'm curious on how it looks. You guys ready? For you people that just joined, you didn't get to see what it looked like before I covered it. All right. Let's figure it out. Yes. Look at that. That is amazing. That is amazing. We'll let it cook off. Should we steam it some more? Give me a yes or a no in the comment if we should steam it some more. Like your video, HD. I have the blue rhino. Oh, the blue rhino. That's cool. Propane, huh? Yes? All right, let's steam it. I got an answer yes, so we're going to steam it one more time. All right. The reason why is I need it to be cooked because I'm not going to flip it over. I have a camp. Meathead, you have the one griddle that I've always wanted. I just couldn't afford it at the time. But yeah, your camp chef is the, um, the high end of a Blackstone. All right, we're going to steam it one more time. Go for it. See, this is why I didn't want it to foam because I knew it was gonna foam. Alright, that's it. One more time. Steam. What? One more time. A few more minutes and then we'll we'll start building our sandwich. I think you I think you're here for uh, how I was gonna pull off the green eggs and how I was gonna build it up. 87 thank you for joining wondering why it's foaming well all right so i used i broke i separated the eggs right into yolk and then that clear stuff um so when you scramble the clear stuff it'll foam if you're not careful and i wasn't careful on this one i wasn't careful so it foamed up on me that's why you're supposed to stir it like really softly but blood by cooking on a blackstone, you know, it's not about cooking softly. It's about cooking outdoors. All right. 
All right. We... Let me go check on the buns real quick. Toasted, toasted. Let's eat some more. So these two are good. All right, let me set up for the next phase because once the egg's done, I want to show you how I'm going to build it, and I think you will like it. Let's see, 21 minutes. Ooh, this I did not expect it to be this long. <laughs> Me head, the only way to cook is outdoors. You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. See, that's why I can never I can never be a chef. I just don't have the patience to uh like don't open the oven. It's like I have to open it just to see. Alright. It's amazing how these these uh, buns, how they uh, warm up and we don't even have this on. It just, the heat right here is good enough to toast the bun. HD Flame, as soon as the weather cools a little, I'll be cooking on mine more. HD Flame, where are you from, man? I'm just curious. Oh, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. We're almost there. We are almost there. You know what I want to do? Start working on separating them as they get done. I want them to separate. Let's see right here. Look at that. See, it's still stuck on there. Oh yeah, look at that. We're getting there. We are getting there. Just want to thank you guys for still sticking around. I know it wasn't supposed to be this long. It really wasn't. All right, so let's build this a sandwich. Okay. Put this on the side. All right. Just watching Dr. Seuss. What? So this, oh, <laughs> what's up, uh, cooking with James? That's funny. I was watching Dr. Seuss. All right, let's build us our green eggs and ham, and then hopefully uh, we can create a thumbnail while we're at it. All right, here we go. Let's get started. They're all going to be the same, so we're going to put all the bottoms right here tops right here here we go so what i did is uh the first thing when it comes to making a sandwich two things you can add to make it delicious one is cheese and the other one is bacon today we're going to use cheese i use a cookie cutter to give it that circle look because the only thing i want showing is the green eggs and ham all right, so I just cut up some cheese, use a cookie cutter, and look how beautiful that is. My kids love cheese, so I try to include cheese on everything. All right. All right. So...
Then we're going to put our ham on there. If you're wondering why I'm, I'm setting it up like this, you'll see it when I put the eggs on there. It's all about um, giving the, the look of a thumbnail, okay? Because I could easily just set it like that. That thumbnail would look like crap, right? It just sh doesn't show the bun, doesn't show the cheese, just shows the ham. So once in a while, just a little effort of folding a ham and putting it right at the edge of it will give it a good thumbnail look. All right. I can't guarantee it, but that's what I'm thinking. Right? And then start decorating. Ah, I'm so nervous. I don't know why. Like I'm literally shaking. And then we want to show off that the green eggs. Let's put the best side up on the bun. All right, there we go. Let's give it to you. Let's let's give you guys a look. Hopefully this is a thumbnail. Can't believe I pulled it off, holy crap. And it's edible. Look at that. Green eggs and ham. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If you hit that bell button, you get to watch us live, so. What do you guys think? Give me some comments real quick before I go. See you take care of the flame, looks good, gotta go. HD flame, thank you so much. Sam I am, yes, yes, Mia. All right, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. If you enjoy it, hey, thank you for subscribing. If you wanna share this, because I'm telling you, it's never been done on Blackstone Griddle. All right, so definitely cooking dinner tonight. Oh. So are you going to cook the cat in the hat next? I might, if I could pull it off, if I could pull it off, all right love cooking for my kids, my family, and for you guys. I really do. Every day I look forward to uh, going live with you guys. All right, got to go. Got to go feed the kids. I just want to see their face expression. I wish, ugh, I wish they would let me record their face expression. I think they'd love it. All right, hey, thank you for subscribing. And thank you for hitting that bell button because I will see you tonight. You will love dinner tonight. Okay? Bye.